Greetings mobile accomplishers. Want to give you a quick app preview of the new app from Syntactics. It's called TripKit. It is a TripIt app. You may have seen they recently held a little Twitter contest to get people to help them rename the app. Uh, as you can see, it is in beta, and that is important to know because it uh, doesn't work in WebOS 2.0, and um, it's problematic. But you can see it does have a neat little notification area use. It lets you know that it's updating your trips in the background, and whatching, it started up, there you go. It gives you a four-panel view. Uh, whereas the iPhone app, for example, here takes you right into your trips, but that's all right. It's just a tap away, and um, there you go. You got a list of your trips. Got a list of your shared trips. So let's take a look here at uh, my Las Vegas trip on both, and you can see, you know, other than the screen size, it's very similar. Same buttons. You can see the people that are going to be nearby. You can uh, hit the email button, which will launch the uh, web browser, so that you can use TripIt's interface to email your trip to other people, which is actually a convenient way to do it because then they get the invite to use TripIt and so on and so forth. Now TripIt is great because, um, you know, it's, it's I, I travel a lot obviously and it's really important for me to be able to just keep track of this stuff and not have to worry about it. You get the email, you forward it to TripIt, they automatically parse it and then you've got all your flight information, your gates, what time you're going to arrive, you get alerted if, if uh, you're late by a text message. Don't think the alerts will work here in app, um, but you can still get text messages, which is fine. Um, and, um, you know, a few of the buttons are going to open up uh, the web browser to uh, go to TripIt's mobile website, uh, but that actually isn't all that different from what happens on the iPhone app. It's just that on the iPhone app, rather than opening up the web browser separately, what it does is it, um, it opens up the web browser inside the app. Um, which isn't a big deal. Um, but, you know, just swipe back here. I'm oh, sorry, go to the app, swipe back. And uh, we can go look at some of the other sections. We can uh, go to our point tracker. I am recently addicted to points, and yes, it's kind of sad. Um, but I see I need 4,600 miles to hit gold. And boy, oh boy, I can't wait to do that because then I'll be the annoying guy with uh, the gold upgrade. Um, so that's kind of fun. Uh, network, uh, unfortunately, opens up a web browser inside the app, um, which is fine. Uh, you know, you can see who's close, you know, to you in upcoming trips. But the problem is the uh, the back button just takes you back to the home screen. Um, but, you know, again, this is a very early beta of the app, and they're just giving us a preview of it now. Um, but for me, it's much more useful than, say, the, uh, the TripIt website. Uh, it's uh, faster, the interface is nicer, um, and it just, you know, it feels like a, a WebOS app, which is really great. Um, and so I'm really excited by it. So there you go. It's uh, in the beta feed. Uh, and uh, big ups to the folks in Syntactics for uh, putting this together. And hopefully they'll be able to get it in the app catalog very soon.